Have questions about your pets? Looking for your next forever friend? We've got you covered. This is Pet Connection with Energy 95.3. Now, here's Eric Fox. A very beautiful Wednesday morning. What's going on? It's Eric Fox from Energy 95.3. Joined with Nick from Kern County Animal Services on the other side of the screen. And our special guest today, Dazzle. How are you doing today, bud? We are both doing awesome. Good to see you. Good morning, Eric. You can't see it, but both uh, Nick and my tails are also wagging, but you do see Dazzle's tail wagging right there on the screen. Uh, let's talk about, before we get started here, about the Make a Pet Adoption event last weekend. Uh, how was it? I mean, I know a lot of people went out there. I heard from a lot of people that had a great time. How was the vibe out there? You know, uh, it was really good. I, it, it, uh, you know, for those of you who aren't aware, um, Kern County put on a Mega Pet Adoption event in 2017, 2018, and 2019. We... Um, went on hiatus for a couple of years. Uh, and this year was our first uh, return to a mega pet adoption event. You may ask what a mega pet adoption event. It's uh, kind of what it sounds. It's a very large pet adoption event that's off site, not here at the county animal shelter. Um, and we in, invite all of the uh, local animal rescues and animal shelters uh, that take in uh, lost and, and homeless pets. Uh, and Put them up for adoption under one roof uh, and then we supplement those those pet adoptions with uh, some resources for pet owners for their own animals you know just kind of make it a pet fair so uh, this was the first year we we made a um an effort to put that on again and uh all told over 75 animals were adopted a handful were fostered that day uh, this is last sunday or it's sunday before last sorry uh, november 6th and uh we saw uh, over 800 people uh from kern county and beyond uh, come out, walk through the gates, and, and take advantage of the resources that we're offered. And it was a good day, um, and it was very successful in that uh, we only had a handful of animals that came back with us, um, and I have with one of those, with me one of those uh, that came back with us, and that's Dazzle. Well, let's go and uh, jump right into it. You are the king of segues. You make my job a whole lot easier here, Nick. Let's talk about Dazzle, who's joined us today. I'll get my mug off the screen and get Dazzle some more screen time here. Yeah, okay, she's, uh, about that she's she's being very vocal right now. Uh, and the reason she's being vocal, in my opinion, is we just pulled her out of um, a play group. Uh, so she was out having fun uh, just a few minutes ago. Uh, she is a rock star in play group. And we call dogs rock stars in play groups that uh, not only do well with other dogs, but they can influence um, good behavior in other dogs. Um, and they, they encourage um, good behaviors in other dogs. And Dazzle is one of those dogs. So not only will she get along with other dogs in a household, but she's um, got the personality and she's well-behaved enough that she'll likely um, be a good compliment to a dog um, and maybe even temper another dog's uh, um, anxiety or, or, or separation issues. Um, and so she's just a well-rounded girl. She loves to play. She's incredibly high energy when she starts playing she's about a year old uh she's a mixed breed she's a beautiful um sort of brindle brown color and uh she's just full of love and as you saw um when she wants to get back out and have some fun she'll she'll start talking to you well it's a shame that dazzle came back home from the uh, mega pet adoption event but it's good to give her a new home let's get the information on the screen dazzle is who's our guest today a117-1264 a rock star in the play group, but also if you have uh, pets at home or even children, uh, definitely a good addition as we head into the holiday season, right? Yeah. Um, like I said, she, uh, our she's staff favorite. Um, everybody loves her. Um, and she's, you know, very useful in our, in our environment too, because like we said, uh, when we're try trying to get other dogs to express their normal behaviors so that we can, um, accurately examine their behaviors, um, that's where Dazzle comes in. She's able to get them to calm down sometimes and encourage natural behavior, which is immensely helpful to us. But even though she's a big help to us, we all want to see her get home. And um, she's just such a sweet girl. She's going to make somebody with probably a, an active lifestyle um, that uh, has no problem with a high-energy dog. Um, she's going to make that person's life complete. Um, and uh, her adoption fees are waived. She's been with us for over 30 days, so she's a, a fee-waived adoption. And uh, we talked about that. We also talked about just uh, giving a chance to, like, meet Dazzle. So if you want to come down and, and have a little time with Dazzle, how could people get involved with that? Yeah, so they're going to come down to the Kern County Animal Shelter, 3951 
Fruitvale Avenue. Uh, we're open 10 to 4, Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Except for Wednesdays. Wednesdays we're open 2 p.m. until 7 p.m. Come down any one of those hours. Tell us you'd like to uh, take a look at Dazzle, and uh, we'll be able to help you out and um, maybe answer any questions about her as well. Or, you know, Dazzle will walk you through and say, hey, this dog's good. This dog's good. So maybe Dazzle could be your uh, your tour guide through the kennels too, right? <laughs> yeah, and uh, I guarantee you that she will kiss you as well. She's a kisser. Aww. Um, so we're, I want to, I'm trying to find the transition. You made the perfect segue to talking about Dazzle. I don't know how to make the perfect segue to talk about our next topic, but that is, uh, we are just over a week away from Thanksgiving. The holiday season's hitting us already. It's crazy how fast this year's flown. Um, but there are some things in which really to remember as you know, your house gets fuller, you get a lot more meals going on and that kind of thing. What do people really need to think about as the holidays are approaching? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before I answer that question, let me say that we would love to see Dazzle get a home before the holidays. There's your segue. Dazzle um, agrees. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you know, it's something that we don't probably often think about, but, you know, the, the uh, end of year holidays, Christmas, um, you know, New Year's, any celebrations towards the end of the year, really. Um, you know, we, we, we often forget to think about our, our four-legged family members. Um especially how dangerous they can be sometimes. You know, the, the typical, um, you know, supplies and instruments of celebration sometimes can be um, hazardous or poisonous to, to pets, especially dogs, you know, um, things that you take for, take for granted that are always around during celebrations, um, candy and chocolate, um, party favors. Uh, sometimes we have, during the holidays, lights um, and those cords that can be chewed on. There's a lot of hazards that sometimes we don't think about and especially if you, you happen to leave for a while and you just decorated your house, you got to keep in mind that sometimes your animals are going to get curious and they're going to get into those things. And if they're um, if they could be disastrous to their health, we want to make sure that we take precautions. You know, things that uh, we take for for granted, like um, you know, plants that you might have during the holidays. You know, um, poinsettias and um, mistletoe and and those types of things can be very poisonous to dogs, especially if ingested. So. Um, we always want to take special precautions during the holidays. Sometimes we forget, you know, we have people coming over and uh, we forget that we have uh, furry four-legged family members that uh, want to participate too. And sometimes they might not know what's good for them. I think those are definitely things to remember. And uh, below the screen is Dazzle. Dazzle just popped back up on the screen. Dazzle is our guest today here on Pet Connection. Let me get the information back on the screen. Uh, A117-1264, one-year mixed breed female spayed and ready to go home feed weight adoption i mean I, I, there's no way that dazzle shouldn't be able to get it home so let if you need a new family member in your life or if you know someone who could use some extra love dazzle is definitely going to be a great addition just in time for the holidays for sure yeah absolutely she's she's going to complete someone's life like i was saying i mean we'll, we'll, we'll try to help make the right decision for the right family but we guarantee you she's she's just going to make your life complete well, her tail is wagging, and it's wagging at you saying, hey, come get me. Come bring me home. Information back on the screen once again, A117-1264. Dazzle is our guest today. Nick, I always appreciate everything you guys do. I know you guys are crazy busy as you head into the holiday time. Uh, people want more information on what you guys are doing besides, you know, our, our four-legged friends, maybe other things in the community. How do people connect with Kern County Animal Services? You know, the best way to do that is on our social media channels. Um, you know, we have a, a Facebook Instagram, uh, YouTube uh, channel. Um, we have Twitter. Uh, we're, already, we're even on TikTok. So um, I'm not a social media guy, but Dazzle says go those, join us on TikTok. <laughs> each one of those social media channels has a handle. Uh, search for Kern County Animal Services. Uh, we put some information up there, not only about our beautiful dogs that are available for adoption, but like you said, Eric, the services that we have for our community. Um, it's good to stay abreast of, of everything that we're doing is to, is to follow us on our social media channels. Well, let's go get let uh, Dazzle go play again because she is she is a one-year-old, which is a toddler. So toddlers want to play. So we'll go let Dazzle play once again. And Nick will let you get back to work once again as well. Every other Wednesday, we are here right here, Facebook, YouTube, and all of our social channels as well, uh, connecting up with the great team at Kern County Animal Services. My name is Eric Fox from Energy 95.3, and this has been another edition of your pet connection. We'll see you next time. Take care of yourself, my friend.